Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Saturday, the 28th day of January 2023. Open your mouth this morning and be saying Amen as I pray for you and bless you today. This morning, I want to pray for a group of people. I don't know, maybe you are among them, but I want to pray for people that are facing stiff opposition whether in their marriage, in their place of business, in their place of work, in the ministry, anywhere where there is opposition against your life, against your proposal. I want to pray this morning that the Lord will take over the situation. In any area, in any way, you are facing opposition to your breakthrough, opposition to your marital proposal, in the name that is above every other name. I command every opposition today to bow down in the name of Jesus Christ. I remember, I remember many years ago when I and my wife were in courtship, as we we're getting ready for the day that she would take me to go and meet her parents. We we're told that there's one of one of our uncles who will naturally not agree for the proposal, being that I'm a pastor. So we prayed, we prayed, we prayed, we fasted, both I and my wife-to-be and my friend, who later uh, was my best man on the wedding day. We fasted and prayed and bind all the bindables. By the time we got to the village and she presented me to everyone, the first person to accept our proposal and agree that I should be the husband of their daughter was that uncle. No opposition, nothing, no, no one at all. I am praying equally for you that you are hearing me this morning. That anyone who have vowed to be in opposing view or on opposing side to your breakthrough and success in life, by the authority of God upon my life, I come, I, I overtake them and I overrule their decisions. In the name of Jesus, everyone that have received baptism and anointing from the pit of hell, to always against you in the office, to always opposing your marriage, never see any good thing in what you do. From today, Saturday, 28th of January, 2023, I subject all their proposals, all their antagonistic views and proposals to nothing. In the name of Jesus, I am praying that from today, they will no longer be the one to give the final say over your matter. I, I see God putting you in charge, and I see God making you to smile. In the name of Jesus, every opposition to your breakthrough, to your success, you that you are having in school, there are many opposition against you. I see God putting you on top. In Jesus' name, every one of us, as we go out today, in peace this weekend, and this weekend we end in praise for you. In Jesus' name, somebody shout Amen. I believe, <clears throat> and I, be I believe, and I receive. Praise God. To God be the glory. We thank God for the great and marvelous things that the Lord is doing for us and in our midst. Let me quickly take some few testimonies. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let me take few testimonies this morning, and then we come back to our prayer guide for today the first one today is a good evening daddy happy new year to you. happy new year to you and yours my testimony goes like this i have come to re have returned to say thank you to jesus for his mercy over my life and my family throughout the year 2022 i am the one who god has shown mercy and favor to in november and december 2022 firstly god restored me back to him on this altar I had lost all because of my child because of the challenges I faced. Secondly, God showed me mercy by giving me a car. Thirdly, God gave me a landed property in my hometown. Jesus ended the year 2022 with goodness and mercy for me. I have been struggling to get the above for years. If God can do this, I know He will perfect the rest. Thank you, Daddy, for all your prayers and encouragement on this altar. God bless you, sir. Indeed, what God cannot do does not exist all the way from Kaduna. Praise God. We appreciate God for the wonderful things he's doing. Another one is a testimony, testimony. Good morning, Reverend Eniola. I have come to say thank you to God 
for all you all he has done for me i was saved from imminent danger through the mercy of god on the third of this year i was going to work waiting for a vehicle that will convey me to my office because the driver of our of our official vehicle was on his annual leave on that fateful day as i was flagging down the vehicle a woman stopped where i was waiting for vehicle with some of my colleagues and she said she wanted to help me even though she was not going to my direction but that if it was okay for me she would drop me at a place that would not be too far from where i was going i said okay uh, i said okay as i said okay and entered the vehicle the most amazing thing was that she carried me only she she picked only me and no one else and I, as i was wondering why at that place that i was waiting for a vehicle with my colleagues there was this bus we always enter when our vehicle was out of service on our way i saw that vehicle coming and i was like i would have asked this woman to go since she was not going my, to my direction not knowing that the woman was an angel sent to save me from danger the following day a colleague who eventually entered that bus came to tell me that they had an accident on their way as one of the front tire busted while on transit helped me to thank god for i don't know what would have happened if i was in that bus thank you thank you reverend and your love for your prayers always may god continue to strengthen and empower you the more in jesus name amen thank god for that timely intervention and safety another one good morning man of god indeed you serve a living god my name is also person from lagos please share my testimony i want to appreciate god almighty for his faithfulness two weeks ago i was believing god for my children's school fees and he provided it even more than i expected secondly i want to thank god for using you to save the life of my last baby this morning after listening to the morning devotional where you decree that none of us shall experience any loss i said amen then i took my three year son three year old son to bathroom to bathe him immediately i stepped into the bathroom the wall ties fell but the god of pastor Nola saved his life god will continue to bless you and increase you in every area of life in jesus name your anointing shall never run dry this just happened this morning around past 6 a.m amen another one thank you for your prayers daddy i have just been delivered of a bouncing baby boy after six years of waiting indeed what god cannot do does not exist i'm so so person from kogi state let me take the last one for today this one says good morning daddy and Nola. A testimony testimonies from a grateful heart i joined this platform through one of my uncles last year june and uh, as of when we joined the platform our condition was all things fall apart but when i listen to people's testimonies of how they gave out they gave something for your birthday and they were blessed i decided to use the 600 naira that i had as my own widow's mind that was what was left in my account to buy data and send send to your whatsapp number daddy your god surprised us we got a business that pay us that paid us one hundred sixty thousand that same week and we paid our tithes since then doors have been doors keep on opening my second testimony came in october i received a call from my elder brother from the village that what that it was taken to sell immediately i had that i lost my peace then i remembered i have an altar that will fight for us i messaged you and you replied that god will intervene for him and i shouted amen to god be the glory my brother was removed from the cell that same day around 9 pm even at the hour that is against the court to walk daddy god hear and answer your prayers amen to god be the glory for this wonderful and beautiful testimonies now today is day 27 of our ongoing fasting and prayers and we thank the lord for what the lord has been doing it's been so gl glorious and it's been so wonderful i would like everyone hearing me this morning please between now and tuesday i want you to write out special prayer request special prayer request don't write it on our whatsapp wall just write it down write it on a sheet of paper 
neatly, put it in an envelope as if you are posting a letter to God. Every day beginning from tomorrow Sunday, I'll be praying on those prayer requests. Then on the final day, I will tell you what to do with it. Today, our topic is manifesting his glory. Manifesting his glory. And our Bible reading is Romans chapter 8, verse 19. Romans 8, 19, which says, For all creation is waiting eagerly for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are. That is New Living Translation. King James says the endless expectation of the whole creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. As you hear me this morning, your world is waiting for you to manifest. People want to see the glory of God being manifested in you and through you. Exhortation. We are in the era that the world wants to see the glory of God in action. Grace and glory of God are available, but you must live in accordance to the word of God. Yes, the glory of God is available, the grace of God is available, but you must fall in line. You must live your life in accordance with the word of God. To manifest God's glory, do the following. Number one, give your life to Christ. Number two, join a word-based church where you will be taught the way of God. Number three, abstain from sin and anything that is contrary to righteousness. Proverbs 14, 34 says, righteousness exhorts a nation. You can't be living in sin and expect God's glory to be manifested in your life. It is not possible. Number four, move or work with persons that can affect or impact your life positively. There are people that have gone ahead of you and you know that they have character, they have testimony. Move or walk with them. Proverbs 27 verse 17 says, Iron sharpened iron. So move or walk closer with people that, are, that can impart or affect your life. Then lastly, engage in prayers. Engage in prayers. And you will see God's glory being manifested in your life. Prayers for today. Lord, I receive grace to manifest your glory this year. Daddy, I receive grace to manifest your glory this year. Number two, every anti-glory spirit in my life or anti-glory spirit in my life and family get out in Jesus' name. Every spirit that is against glory be manifested in my life, my family, I order you to get out. Then number three, O God of creation, create a new seat, new office, and opportunities for me this year in Jesus' name. God can create something out of nothing. So plead with him that he is the God of creation. If you create a new seat, maybe you are redundant. They transfer you to his place. There's no office for you. There's no seat. Tell God to create a new seat for you. If you create a new office for you and new opportunities, and he will do so. I pray for you in the name of the Lord that the grace for you and I to manifest the glory of God is coming upon us this year. Every anti-glory spirit in your life, in my family, and in our lives together, I order them to get out. In Jesus' name, and I pray that, O God of creation, we create a new seat for you this year. It will create new office and new opportunities for you and me. In Jesus' name. This Saturday, we end well, and it will end in praise for you and every member of your family. God bless you. Go and win today. In Jesus' name, amen.